Welcome back guys, Matt King Carter here with a quick video, really quick. This was going to be my next computer I was going to do a review on. Uh, I grabbed this a while ago from a recycling center and uh, reinstalled Windows XP on it. Doesn't seem to be too much wrong with it, or didn't at the time. Uh, but I put it up in the attic and it's been like a month or two since then. This machine is from 2004. It's a 2004 HP Compaq D530SFF, small form factor is what that means. And I had an IBM around from around the same time period and uh, ended up tossing that because of bad capacitors. And lo and behold, this thing seems to have developed bad capacitors. Because when I plug it in, I get four uh, blinking lights here. This blinks four times and then repeats. No beeps or anything. So it's it's not it's only like half of the warning code. So I'm guessing the motherboard is pretty well unstable or the power supply has finally quit because that's the only thing I could find that was near that uh, warning signal. And if we look on the inside here, you'll see exactly why I don't usually bother with Pentium 4 machines because if we look there those capacitors have let go and so have those ones and if we look around I'm sure we can find some more but you get the idea uh, these mid 2000s early 2000s computers all the way up until like 2006 I think something like that uh, until they got into like core 2 duo machines they were pretty crap <laughs> they were all really cheap and everywhere on here it says made in China and the power supply down here, you probably can't see it, uh, but it says made in China on the power supply, which is this little, tiny, small form factor thing. Um, everything on this says made in China. And in fact, Foxconn, that's that one company who is enslaving its labor in China. So yeah, way to go HP for uh, <clears throat> using slave labor to manufacture your computer components. <laughs> And then put out such shitty products as this that they just burn up after a while and the capacitors blow up on themselves. So yeah, this is why I don't usually bother with these computers. They are complete garbage. And if I were you, I would avoid them like a capacitor plague. I'm Mad King Corduroy and hopefully you enjoyed this little insight into crappy computer components.